If you're looking for cheap Ultimate Team coins, go check out IGSky.com. Links to that will be in the description below. Use the discount code ROSSI for a little bit 5% off. It's got a fully automated service. You get your coins instantly. What more can you ask for? Enjoy the video. Hello guys, Mr. Rossi1990 here. And this again is going to be one of these videos similar to the one I did with Lamana Lua. Lua, if you missed that video, then I'll let you know exactly what we're doing today. Basically... There's a videos on YouTube where you see people like giving stat cards to high rated players so like 99 Ronaldo's. Obviously there is a 99 Ronaldo now but you know what I mean like the regular Ronaldo 99, Messi 99 etc etc to boost their stats. I'm going to try and do it with some of the lower rated ones who you know maybe have been like legends in the past. Like I said Lamona Lua Lua was my first one. Really good player when you put a stat boost card on him. I've got stuff in my club which allows me to upgrade their stats by 14 each. It's a plus 10 attribute card but because I have staff in my club which upgrades it as well. Every stat goes up by 14. Um, and today's episode is going to be a player which I really have enjoyed um, on pretty much every game I play. FIFA, Football Manager, um, LMA I think in the past as well. And it is Saviola. Now he's such a brilliant player. He, he probably is labelled a legend by now, isn't he? Um, he's been around long enough to be labelled that. And um, on the game, he's a decent card. Don't get me wrong. He's actually really, really good. And I, I didn't realise they played in Serie A. I thought for some reason oh, that team plays in Serie B. But no, he doesn't. He plays in Serie A, which is awesome because we can link him into really cool teams. And you see his stats on his card there. Not a bad looking card at all. He's got good skill moves. A four medium low work rate is okay. Five foot six is quite tiny. Um, but he's got good dribbling and good pace-ish, you could say. Not amazing, but once you put a stat card on him, which is exactly what we're going to do. We'll go to training here. Link this bad boy on him and have a look at his stats. Now, that is the card which I've been using. And look at it. It's absolutely godlike. 87 pace, 93 on the dribbling. 83 shot, 84 passing. Defending and physical, pretty much, whatever. Um, first owner on him, which is awesome. Played eight games, scored 13 goals and two assists. But let me stress, eight games. I did play eight games, but the amount of rage quits I caused. One guy rage quit after five minutes in game time. It still goes down as a game, which is really frustrating, um, but not a lot I can do about that. Still a really good goal scoring record, considering, like I said, all the rage quits. But the team I put him in is kind of a mixture team between Syria and Liga BBVA, I think it is. Anyway, we're going to start with the goalkeeper. It's a full silver team, and we're going to start with a Syria goalkeeper and the goalkeeper I went for was actually um it was Rafael that one but you could I guess have that one as well just a Brazilian one I went with him because he just makes sense to use him the center back I went for from the Syria and um, was actually Sol Bamba now the reason I've gone for him is because he just signed for Leeds and I thought I really badly want to use him there's another player in here who's just signed for Leeds as well which I used and that's a silver guy um center mid even from Palermo and he's called Ngui or something along those lines there he is I just used him because he signed for Leeds I just thought I'd give him a go and Bamba's fantastic on this game you can tell that by his stats he's got really good pace defending and physical he's decent six foot four as well and just an all-round really good player and Goy he's decent but he's not amazing let's put it that way in FIFA he, he's a non-shiny 68 rated you don't expect a lot from him but he's a good passer and he's got really good physical and uh, he bullies players off the pitch basically uh, but we might as well finish off the Serie A side while we're over here and the left back we've got we've got a couple of people we could go for but the guy I did use was Armero really good player I actually got a red card in one of the games we played as well which is annoying um, and I think I ended up using another left back and then the guy we're playing left wing is actually going to be Kingsley Common or Coman uh, again a really good football manager player not too sure what he's going on with his hair that looks like it's kind of caught a light as he's <laughs> just standing there I paid 5.4k for him. Good player. Those really young and up-and-coming talent. He gets ultimate chemistry of a couple of uh, Juventus players, in, in one particular being Pogba, and of course Patrice Evra as well. Um, but to get the link with good old Saviola, we're going to use a centre-forward in, in Cam, and it's going to be this guy right here, who also plays for Palermo. A couple of Palermo players in here. Really, really good player, though. High-low work rates. Probably would prefer playing him as a striker more than a cam, but he worked really well in cam just in behind Saviola and did a very good job together. They get a good chemistry link because they're both Argentine from Serie A. Not a perfect chemistry link though, unfortunately, else that would have been absolutely awesome if they did. Um, but we're going to move over to the BBVA side of things now. And this is where we use a new Arsenal transferred player, I want to say. And um, that is actually this guy right here, Gabriel. Uh, he is decent. To an extent, but that high attacking work rate is annoying. It really is, because he is the type of player who does charge out of the defence. And he has not got the best physical in the world as well. So he's not a commanding centre-back. He's a more of a, like... I don't know how to describe him. I didn't really like him, actually, if I'm being totally honest. He, he let down a little bit. He reminded me of, like, a bad Sergio Ramos, if that makes sense, because of his work rates and just the way he just, like, stormed up the pitch. And you thought, right, okay, at least I got Sol Bamba doing the job. But luckily for me, the right-back I used which is actually this guy right here, Miguel. 
he was brilliant. He, even though he's got high attack aware of grace, he kind of filled the gap and he had a better, better, better pace, a uh, good height at six foot. So, and he did a really good job defensively. And then I've gone with a defensive kind of centre mid as well. And I actually went for the guy called Mate, uh, which is a little bit funny. But he's got low high work rates. I kind of used him to counteract the centre back because I just wanted to use the centre back because, like I said, he's in he's in hype at the moment. Just moved to Arsenal and um, hopefully he does well and all that. But I just didn't like him on all my team. And uh, the right wing we went for is actually this guy right here. I'm not even going to try and pronounce his name. Kometra, so I have no idea, but he's actually really, really decent. He's got good pace, dribbling's okay, and an alright shot, I suppose. Got me two goals in the eight games, but the majority of the goals obviously came from our man Saviola. 13 goals in the games. I was playing in regular matches, coming up against a lot of silver teams, some really good silver teams. I played, well, how many games was it? Eight games. I think I won seven, lost one, but you, you guys know how average I am at FIFA, so it kind of tells you this team is very, very fun. You could change a few players, like I said, and Goy doesn't really need to be there. I'll just put him in there because I'm a Leeds fan and I fancied using him. And you don't even have to have that centre back guy. I just use him because, again, he's another transfer player. Not obviously in the game. They will probably transfer him at some point, but just a thought I'd use him to see what he's like. And uh, like I said, I wasn't impressed massively by him. But this is the team. I quite enjoy doing these videos. It's something a little bit different, like I said, just a, just a stat card on somebody who's got good stats and just make them stats better. He's got a hunter chemistry on him as well, which of course adds his pace and um, his pace and shooting, isn't a hunter? Yeah, of course it is. Pace and shooting, so that's a little bit extra on that, which is absolutely fantastic. A joy to you, such a legend again. And um, he's actually gone up to, uh, if you have 14 minutes, that's 87 rated card, which is insane he's up there with the best he's up there with what he would have been back in his prime holy hell it was a joy it really was and i, I recommend you going out and trying it with somebody you might like and also in the comment section below if it's a guy you'd like me to do like i said i've done lamala luau i've done saviola i'm kind of looking for players who you know are, 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 are decent but could do with a boost and just you know in kind of like hype and uh, have been good in the past kind of thing saviola of course legend status he deserves one and we did him in the second episode but hopefully you have enjoyed it. if you have a like it'd be absolutely fantastic i'll show you a couple of goals at the end with a little bit of music have an all-round good time subscribe if you're new i'll catch you next time and uh, bye bye boobies eyes in the sky gazing far into the night i raise my hand to the fire but it's no use cause you can't stop it from shining through it's true baby let the light shine through if you believe it's true baby won't you let the light shine through for you